This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2007 Ford F350 Crew Cab dual rear wheel. Um, it is a 6 October diesel. It's four wheel drive. It's a uh, Lariat, which is leather. And it has the FX4 off road suspension package. This truck is crazy low miles. Um, it has 44,866 actual miles. I'll show you the car fix facts in a minute, which verifies it. Uh, obviously, the title's actual mile. Um, it was a dealer trade-in in Anaheim. We purchased it. We brought it here, and we do an inspection. This is what we said. Wow. All right. Extremely low actual mile C Carfax in the video, which I'll show you in a minute. We saw a slightly leaky oil cooler. We had supplies to do a bulletproof EGR cooler and forward oil cooler, so we did. Bulletproof EGR cooler, forward oil cooler, new Rotella oil and filter, new coolant. Obviously all new gaskets and all that stuff. Um, it does have a Banks air intake. All the tubes under the hood are Banks and it has a Banks tuner, okay? built into the truck um, radio is in op we don't deal with radios okay um, because they're so cheap you can get the one you want with the Bluetooth you want USB you want the auxiliary you want uh, at Best Buy installed for a couple hundred bucks there's no sense in us dealing with radios um, they're personal items and people can do better without us so anyway I'm gonna walk around this truck I will point at stuff I see uh, we do know what kind of person owned this truck okay he uh or she um, was a little bit of a slob and according to the Carfax it was involved in an accident that involved going off the road and I have a million I would bet a million dollars I know exactly what happened because this fender has lots of little touch-up scratches on it right here and then down here very low it's had a dent that was like right so what I think happened is it jumped a curb into a bush <laughs> And they pulled that out and they put a bunch of touch-up paint see this here um, nothing was bad but that's what happened and the reason I know that nothing happened is because the same day that it arrived at the uh, that it got towed it was getting a, a battery and getting serviced so it went straight from being towed to being serviced the same day which I'll show you in the car packs which means it wasn't hurt it was just its pride was hurt <laughs> more than anything um, and I don't think this guy was exactly the cleanest person in the world because he left something on the on the bed rail that spilled on the side of the truck on the uh, driver's side the bedside and uh, stained the crap out of it which sucks um, really a painter on that fender and the upper bumper cover and you got a little dent right here check this out though look at the bed that's what a 44,000 mile bed looks like inside it's a miracle, uh, as sloppy as a driver as this guy was, that the bed's not hammered. But aside from not having a bed liner, it doesn't have any big dents in the bed at all. Looks great. Um, and it's got the fifth wheel hitch in there, obviously. See? I don't know what he... he this is from having something spilled, like right off the top and bloop down the side. So if you got a painter to paint that fender and paint under that sticker, it'd probably be about five or 600 bucks if you care. Um, I think what matters to this thing is that it's got extremely low miles, verified extremely low miles. And we've uh, done the Bulletproof uh, EGR cooler, Ford oil cooler, um, oil filter, the whole bit, coolant. 44,872 miles. We'll go into the uh, hood right now. My guys tell me that the reason this radio doesn't work is whoever traded this thing in decided it'd be a good time to uh, take the amp. So, but who knows, man, maybe he took the amp because he knows the radio doesn't work. That's why we say it just doesn't work. We don't want people to think that it does when it might not. There's the Ford stamps, you know, this is the original Fender. Here's the uh, Banks Auto Mine. Okay, that's the tuner that's in it. Aftermarket airbox, Banks, intake, tubes. Ford stamp here, 
cat sticker where it belongs. Ford stamp here, this is important because this is the fender in question. They didn't replace this fender, okay? And then there's the uh, Ford stamp on the hood. So all the parts up front are original. This is why we have the accident report because he jumped a curb and went over the curb right there. Boom, he did that. And he went into a bush. And then he stores stuff on top of the bed rail that spills all over the truck. So, yeah, I don't think he's much of a clean freak. If I had a 40,000 mile truck, it wouldn't be getting spilled on. Um, all right, like I promised, I'll give you some paperwork here to look at. Here's the Kelly Blue Book. First, we'll start with that. I think it's really low on this truck. Well, it is because it's bulletproof now. There's uh, Larry at Crew Cab, 44,866 miles. Uh, typical listing price would be 25,243 with a range of 22,1, which is ridiculous, to 26,3. Um, now, of course, they don't take into, the fat in, into account that it's been bulletproof. They don't know that, and they wouldn't know if, they, if you told them what that meant, but it has been, which should add thousands and thousands to that. There's the uh, uh, VIN. So they blend the Carfax and Kelly Blue Book together and they come up with a value of 26,720. Again, that doesn't take into account the bulletproof. I think that's low. Um, b -b -b history. Uh, minor as it was, uh, being serviced same day after quote unquote accident and remained one owner. So the guy didn't sell it either after this happened, which I'll show you in just a second. Here's the bin. One owner. I did this uh, about an hour ago, 11-11. Uh, 11, 11, 11, 11, huh, that's pretty cool. All right, low miles, blah, blah, blah. So here's the accident report. So 426 and 426, both of these. Hit an object, ran off the road, vehicle toyed, airbags did not deploy. Same day, see, 426.13, 426.13, uh, it said Citrus Motors so getting service. So they towed it from here to there, checked the brakes, checked the battery, inspected it, and obviously did not fix the uh, fender. <laughs> um, ba -ba -ba -ba. So we know exactly what happened there. All right, there you go. Oh, and here, interesting, at 44,449, they did an EGR valve. And I'll bet you they thought that it was leaking from there. And then went, you know, a couple hundred miles later, they're like, it's not leaking from there. And then there's somebody told them it would be, you know, thousands and thousands of dollars through the oil cooler. So they traded it in. And so that's dealt with. Um, the oil cooler, which is a pain in the ass on a uh, 6.0, is done. Um, uh, and the uh, Bulletproof EGR cooler, which replaces the flawed former Ford oil cooler, is done also. And so that's the non-issue. Down, you can see it on and off. There's the uh, plugs for the radio if you get it to work. this this was folded all the way up in here so it, it didn't get to the door though it was just all just hung up on a curb that's exactly what happened but uh, you know in these videos um, it's our job my job to make sure that you know what you're buying and that there's no bullshit all right so if we can figure out what's going on all the way we will tell you and that's what's going on all the way it's pretty obvious so we tell you that way we don't have any drama and see the see it had a i'll just go to the other side it has a box under there so it has some sort of a super radio in there it may still be there speakers and stuff but uh, like i said we're not in the radio business uh we sell cars a lot of diesel trucks not radios so there you go Let me see if I can get this thing to fold up. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, wait, like this, maybe? Crap. One-handed, this is not, there it is. One-handed. So that's the box underneath it. And apparently, oh, there's a sub right there. It's a nice box under here. Huh. I don't know if I did that window or not. Um, Apparently they stole the amp, or they took the amp out. It was probably an expensive amp, and it was probably easy to unplug. So they did, but uh, we're not dealing with it. Huh. 
power pedals. See this, you got some Alpine like stuff right here too. So that's probably exactly what's going on there. Heated seat on and off, seat forward, back, up, down, tilt up, down, down. I love when they move fast. That's because they don't have any miles on them and the motors are fine. There's a remote for your Pioneer stereo. If you can make it figure out what's going on. All right, let's see. There's your rear window moving nicely, which is nice to see. Uh, let's see. So that's the radio, right? What that we're not dealing with. I don't even know how it works. Whatever. Anyway, like I said, I'm not doing anything with that. Temperature up, temperature down. Let's try the steering controls for the fan up and down. That works fine. Temperature up and down. That works fine. Boom. Perfect. Let me get the sun out of our eyes here, out of the glare here so you can see the dash. All right, there you go. Now we can see better. All right, do a setup, check. Engine temp okay, transmission temp okay, oil pressure okay, brake fluid level okay, all doors closed, air filter okay, 113 miles to empty, system check complete. Let's see, tow, see this, tow on and off, right? Um, what else? Da -da -da. Go to neutral, we're gonna go to four low. So now it's low range, four by four, okay? I'm gonna put it in reverse. There's the reverse. And drive in four low. That's definitely granny gear. Okay, neutral. Now we're gonna go to four high. Four low goes away. Go to reverse. And drive in four high. All right, neutral. Now we're gonna go to two wheel drive. Go to reverse. And get out of here. All right, drive. All right, if you come to Tucson to drive this thing home, you got a badass truck to drive home that's uh, got a bulletproof EGR cooler, Ford oil cooler, new oil chains, old bit. Nice truck. Um, buy a trailer on the way home and tow it home. Uh, but if you do come here, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, which whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.6% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. Um, there'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing if you pay by wire and ship out of state. If you do, do, if you do pay by wire and ship out of state, once we receive full payment, we will fill the uh, title out with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you, we will scan it in your online file and we will mail it to you. Um, well, this thing runs really, look at it, just boom, boom, shifting like crazy, I love it. This thing runs great. <laughs> um, definitely tuned. Um, you'll have the truck shipped to you. Your title will already be in the mail, so once the truck shows up, uh, you'll just take the title you already have from the mail and go get plates. It's very simple, okay? Um, deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale, so please make sure you get your deposit in. This is a... Uh, really rare truck we've had we had one almost like this not not as clean really this actually aside from a little bad driving from the previous owner this one's a pretty clean truck the interior is like brand new um we had one just like it sold for twenty seven thousand, like six months ago uh to a man in new mexico it was a theft recovery on a clear title it had vin issues and stuff this thing doesn't have any of that all right so giving you an idea of pricing there. If you could buy it in the area of the uh, Kelly Blue Book, you'd be stealing this one. Um, I doubt it, but you never know. I don't I don't price them. But get your deposit in is what I'm getting at, because this is a pretty rare truck, super low miles, and it's got the Bulletproof EGR cooler, Ford oil cooler, etc. cetera. Uh, last part of every video, I say this on every single vehicle we've ever sold or ever will sell, unless they have factory warranty, I'll say the same thing. We don't have salesmen. 
We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a lounge to kick it in all day and hang out and play video games and eat scones. That's all at the auto mall. They also have a really good uh, zip code next to the mall. We're over here in Industrialville, you know, in the dirt, packing trucks in, all right? Um, so you're not paying for salesmen or location or food or water bottles or attendance or game rooms or any of that crap, right? Um, so you're saving a bunch of money because of that. Uh, they also know at the auto mall that if uh, you buy a vehicle from them, a used vehicle from them and it breaks, you're going to come back and want it fixed. Uh, they include that in the price of the vehicle that when they sell it to you also. Okay? We don't because we're not fixing your truck. You're the owner on day one. I can't imagine what's going to happen with this truck mechanically unless it falls into the hands of the former owner and you drive it into a ditch. <laughs> I mean, this thing's a badass truck. It's a really nice truck. So. I don't really think that you have to worry about anything other than keep it on the road and change the fluids once in a while, filters and stuff. Um, if you do that, you're going to be fine. Um, but just know that if something happens to it, regardless of when, um, you will be fixing your truck. Um, other than that, really badass truck. Drives great, shifts perfectly, tuned, runs strong. That's it. Thank you for your time.